This drawing reminds me that in this time frame, which I believe was in the mid 50s, the studio, especially 20th Century Fox, developed a, a technique that they used quite extensively of a building as much as they possibly could on stage and then connecting that with locations. Now, that doesn't necessarily apply to this particular film because this film was, was, was literally built all on stage. There were no real locations. There was a back lot sequence. I think we have a drawing of her coming in on the boat. But for the most part, it was entirely built from scratch. And when you think about it, especially today, uh, that's kind of a rarity. You'd be hard pressed to find a film that, 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 that was not using you know, cities and locations and around the world. The art director usually overbills his sets a bit. You know, there's nothing worse than, than forcing a cameraman to, to nail him to the top and bottom of his frame. And so, you know, we tend to give him so little extra room to play with at the top of the set. And we have, in those days, we still do, I think we still call the permanents, which were the old trusses that held the lights. And uh, so in this particular garden sequence, the, the backing and the trees and the plants and the flowers went right to the top. That was pretty much the tradition. There was another sequence in the film in which that same thing happened. You may recall in that dance sequence those large folding screens in The King and I that, that opened up. That was another one in which the screens went right to the top of the stage. And finally, Leon was composing the shot and because of the fact he had so much set above what he needed, he kept backing up and backing up and backing up and doing one of these things to make sure he didn't fall over something and hit what he thought was uh, a flat from, from that someone had, you know, left, that the grips had left, without even looking around. He turned to his head grip and he said, Leo, he said, get rid of that flat. I want to move back another 10 feet. You know? Well, it turned out that it wasn't the flat at all. It was the stage wall. And uh, so they literally, I think the only time in Hollywood history, they literally cut a large hole in the soundstage at Fox and blacked it in so that Leon could move his camera back uh, another 10 feet. Uh, so there's an example of some of the uh, affluence and the magic of, of, of cinema that went on in those days, that nothing was too much. <laughs> <laughs>